Hey you guys, another quick video on the Phantom DJI series of uh, quadcopters and how to basically get or transfer your data from uh, the micro SD card directly to mobile devices. Now by mobile devices I mean an iPad, iPad Pro, uh, iPhone and uh, Android devices. Now what most people do, they take the uh, SD card out, put that into a micro SD card reader Put that into the computer, transfer the files over to a computer and edit on the computer, but it's becoming more and more popular for people to edit on their iPhones and Android devices with the mobile uh, solutions that are available. Now the easiest way to do that on iOS or on Android is to use the cables that are provided with the uh, DJI when you get it, and you get a basic uh, cable with the DJ, uh, DJI Phantom when you get it, which is a, a standard uh, USB to micro USB. And you get an on-the-go cable there, the two bits of kit you get. Now if you're going to go with the iOS route, you need uh, a USB uh, camera reader or a USB card reader. Uh, whichever way you want to go really. The card reader, you're still going to have to take the card out of uh, the Phantom, put it in the card reader and transfer onto the device. Now, the easiest way to do it is to make sure your device is turned on. It needs to be turned on the same as a camera if you're transferring files. So basically you need to power on the uh, Phantom. So power on your phantom, make sure everything's up and running, make sure the rotors are off and the gimbal guard's off because obviously the gimbal needs to be free to move around, otherwise you'll get a gimbal warning. Take your cable that comes with your phantom, which is your standard uh, uh, USB 2 to a micro USB and jack the micro USB end into your phantom uh, quadcopter. Again, make sure you get it the right way around. Once you've jacked that into your quadcopter, the easiest way on iOS is to make sure your device is on iPad, iPhone or whatever. Uh, so we switch this on quickly. Uh, hide the code there. So we're actually on there, so we'll go back to the home screen and we'll connect this through the USB camera reader on the iOS device. Now on iOS you have to wait a few seconds before you can start to import, so we'll give it a second to uh, load onto the screen. And as you can see, we get a pop-up screen straight away. And what you basically have to do on the uh, iOS device is very, very simple. You've got an import all at the top, so if you click that, it would import everything else. And you can see we've got three MP4 files on there and various photographs. Uh, because there's not a lot of space on here, I'll quickly show you the photos out to import. But it's basically the same with uh, MP4 files. You can import them, edit in iMovie or any uh, mobile movie editing uh, program you use. So if we uh, select a couple of files, and we click import and it'll give you the option then to import all or import selected so click import cancel we don't want to import all click on import import selected and you can see now the ones that uh, I've selected are basically two photographs and it's imported them and then it comes up with a message on the screen would you like to delete the imported photos from your attached uh, camera so you can keep or you can delete so I go keep so that's basically how you do it with uh, an iOS device uh, once you've got your photos on uh, your iOS device and uh, you edit it through uh, iMovie or whatever you're choosing to edit uh, your movies or pictures through, Lightroom to obviously alter your photos, then if you want to, you can either upload directly to the cloud from uh, your iDevice or iOS device, or you can transfer it onto uh, an iOS uh, compatible pen drive so you can see a lightning port one end and a USB the other. Basically stick your lightning port in, the program will open, drag your file over onto it and then you've got it on a USB stick to transfer it wherever you want or take it wherever you want. So that's a quick overview on our iOS and we'll uh, move quickly on to Android which is uh, pretty much the same but a, a simpler solution if you like. Now basically what you need on an Android device, in the box again there was included uh, an OTG cable. Uh, so basically you connect the uh, USB 2 to the OTG cable uh, you get your Android device, it can be a tablet or a, a phone, whichever you're using to edit on. Uh, we'll unlock the screen there. And we'll close all those. And we'll wait for a prompt at the pop of the top of the screen. You can see a little USB symbols appear at the top of the screen. So if you pull down now, USB uh, drive for transferring photos and media. So you basically click on that. That opens everything that's stored directly on your phantom without taking the card out. And the files that are on your Phantom are under DCIM, click on that. Hundred Media, click on that. And you can see all the files again are on the, actually on the uh, Phantom, show up on uh, 
your phone or tablet. It's the same on a tablet, basically a different interface. This is a Samsung uh, phone that has its own built-in uh, file manager, but if you get something like a Nexus, you can put a file manager that's free off the place, uh, Google Play Store, no problem. Uh, but like I said, uh, Samsung, it's got built-in file manager. So basically what you do on uh, Android, you long press to select the files you want, then you tick all the files you want to transfer, you go to more at the top, you go to copy, and basically then you just move it over to device storage. Once it's on the device storage, you can edit it and move it around. So that's basically a quick tutorial about moving files without taking your SD card out directly with the included cables that come with your DJI, directly onto your Android device or your iOS device to edit on a mobile device. Obviously, once they're on uh, Android, it's much easier to use the OTG cable to uh, plug in peripherals via a USB hub. You can put a keyboard, a mouse, uh, several drives at once. So you can have four or five drives open. You can transfer by dragging and dropping around, copying and pasting. A little more difficult on iOS, you have to use uh, a dedicated uh, USB drive with the lightning and the other drive on the end to transfer and move things to different devices. But to be honest, both are pretty similar. The way uh, iOS is going now with uh, the iPad Pro and the iPhone 7 Plus, the speed of actually managing files and editing through iMovie to my mind seems to be far quicker, especially if you've got an old MacBook that's two or three years old or even an older Windows uh, laptop. It's a very fit, uh, fast process to edit on uh, iOS now. Uh, and Android, I've got several uh, mobile editing uh, devices in the Play Store. Anyway, I hope this uh, has been a quick and useful uh, tutorial for you. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll get more videos actually in the very near future. Thanks for watching.